Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to find the transfer function of an RC circuit that you can see here. So we know that whenever that we have a capacitor or an inductor in a circuit and we want to use the algebraic equations to analyze the circuit, we have to go to the frequency domain. So for the frequency domain, we can either be in the S domain, which is actually equal to the J omega domain. So we know that S is equal to J omega. Now, if I want to take this circuit to the frequency domain, what happens is that since I don't have the value for VI, what I can do, I can just say that I do have VI of S or VI of omega. And then we know that the impedance of the resistor will be the same as the resistor. So ZR is actually equal to R. So R will change. This will be a 10 ohm. This will be a 2 ohm. But the capacitor's impedance is actually different than the capacitor's value. So the capacitor's <coughs> impedance depends on the frequency. So Z of C is actually equal to 1 over J omega C or 1 over SC. So now I have 1 eighth of a farad here. Therefore, if I want to find Z of C here, that will be 1 over S multiplied by 1 over 8. And that will give us 8 over S. So that's 8 over S or for the impedance of the capacitor. Now, in order to find the transfer function of this circuit, what we have to do, we have to find H of S, which is equal to H of omega, and that is equal to VO of S over VI of S. Now, this is a series circuit, right? R1, R2, and C, they're all in series. Therefore, I can use the voltage division to find the ratio between VO and VI. So I can say VO is equal to the impedance of the element that I am interested to find the VO across it. So that's R2. I'm going to write it with ZR2 over the sum of all three impedances. So ZR1 plus ZR2 plus Z of C multiplied by VI. <clears throat> now I'm going to take VI to the other side of the equation. Therefore, V over VI will be equal to. Now, Z of R2 is 2 ohms. Z of R1 is 10 plus 2 plus 8 over S. So that will give us 2 over 12 plus 8 over S. And if I take the common denominator in the denominator of this fraction, I'm going to have 12, 2, 12 S plus 8 over S. And that would give us 2 S over 12 S plus 8. Now, I can just simplify this and divide, technically actually, multiply and divide this fraction by half. So I'm going to have S over 4 plus 6s. Now, if I want to write, so this is h of s. Now, if I want to, to write the h of omega, which is also the same as the transfer function, what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute s with j omega. So that's j omega over 4 plus 6j omega. All right, so that is the transfer function of this circuit. All right, so please let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.